everyone. Welcome to BISP Solutions. I am Preeti Rajani working here as functional consultant. So in today's video, we are going to discuss about cross validation rules and Oracle Fusion application. So what is cross validation rules? Using your cross validation rules, you can set up rule in such a way that user will be forced to enter or use only valid accounting code combination. You can restrict the user from entering any wrong or invalid account code combination. There are only two steps for creating cross validation rules in Oracle Fusion application. And these are assign condition filter and assign validation filter. Now we will see practically how to create cross validation rules in Oracle Fusion application. So we are taking our business requirement as we have to allow only cost center triple zero for balance sheet accounts. So this is a rapid implementation sheet. Here you can see that in natural account sheet from the code 00000 to three double nine double nine. These all are the accounts related to balance sheets. So we have to make sure that only cost center triple zero is allowed to these accounts. Let's move to our application. Click on setup and maintenance. Go to task list. Click on manage implementation project. Click on the project. Here in the task option, search manage cross validation rules. Click on it. Go to task option. Select your chart of accounts. If you have already created any cross validation rules, search it from here. So this was the cross validation rule that I've already created. But for understanding purpose, I'm creating a new one. So click on create icon. Give the name of cross validation rule. BS to allow only cost center 000. Here we have to give description. This is optional. The start date and end date is optional. This is the condition filter. Click on it. Add fields. Here I have to restrict the account. So I have to select account field. I have a range of uh, account scores. So I'm selecting here between. So the R range code is 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 2, 3, double nine, double nine. Click on OK. Here we have to select validation filter.
we need to access only triple zero. So we are selecting cost center equals to zero zero zero. Click on OK. Here you have to give the error message. Click on save and close. Search it over here. This is how we created cross validation rules. You can see here. Now we will create the cross validation rules through spreadsheet. Go to task list, click on search, search rapid implementation. From here, we will download the spreadsheet. Click on define common financial configuration for rapid implementation. Click on create cross validation rules in a spreadsheet. As soon as you click on this task, the spreadsheet will get downloaded. We will click on enable for editing. Click on it. You are about to connect to the following application URL. Click on yes. Here you have to give username and password. Enter with your username. These are the instructions that have been given by Oracle. You can go through it. This is the sample sheet. Now go to create cross validation rules. Here you have to select the chart of accounts. In the name section, you have to give the name of cross validation rules. CVR stands for cross validation rules. CC stands for cost center. BS stands for balance sheet. Here you have to give the description. You have to give the error message. It is a mandatory field.
कंडीशन फिल्टर सेगमेंट सिलेक्ट अकाउंट है कंडीशन फिल्टर वैल्यूज फ्रॉम जीरो 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 टू थ्री ट्रिपल नाइन नाइन सिलेक्ट वैलिडेशन फिल्टर सेगमेंट हर वी हैव टू सिलेक्ट कॉस्ट सेंटर गिव द वैल्यू हेयर दैट इज जीरो 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 नाउ क्लिक ऑन सबमिट क्लिक ऑन ओके Now we can check this CVR on our application. Go to again setup and maintenance. Go to manage implementation projects. Click on project. Search manage. cross validation rules here you can see the cvr that we have created by using application is this one and the cvr that we have created by using spreadsheet is this one this is how we can create cross validation rules in the oracle fusion application i hope you understood thank you so much for watching the video